Good evening, everyone. Thank you all so much for coming. And welcome to the fourth annual Where Change Begins Silicon Valley Dinner. My name is Julie Tayako Gramlich, and I will be your mistress of ceremonies for tonight. It is my honor to be here tonight as a Summer Search alumna from 2007. I attended Lowell High School in San Francisco, and when I was a sophomore, I was very fortunate to join the Summer Search family. You will hear more about me later, but for now, I'd like to tell you more about this special evening tonight. The tagline for Summer Search and tonight's theme is Where Change Begins. And everyone in Summer Search has a unique experience with changing their lives for the better. As you listen to the speakers and the stories, I challenge you tonight to think, where does change begin for me? And how can I be a part of that change that Summer Search creates? I would like to start off our evening by introducing a brief video about Summer Search. Afterwards, Carlin Johnson Pulitzer, the Executive Director of Summer Search Silicon Valley, will come up and share a few words about the program. So please start your enjoy uh, your delicious salads. Um, I hope you have had wonderful conversations. Thank you with ins with inspiring people at your table. And now I would briefly like to share how Summer Search taught me how to break down my self-imposed walls and change from within. My mother was born and raised in Japan, but she came all the way to the U.S. at age 25 and married my father, an American. My childhood was inundated with nightly arguments due to cross-cultural differences, money issues, and my father's unique personality. Divorce. Divorce was always a strong possibility, yet I never ever mentioned it to even a single person before I met Summer Search. My mentor, Aaron, encouraged me to confront my comfort zone by allowing myself to be vulnerable in front of strangers. Because emotions were strong in my house growing up, I kept my emotions inside and tried to be the, like, per the perfect emotion-free child. Aaron had me take risks and go for my goals no matter what. Thus, while I was able to spend a summer at Maine Teen Camp and the following summer in Alaska, where I built a recreation center for Native American teenagers, my transformation happened because of the Summer Search Tough Love mentoring. No matter how big or small the challenge was, Summer Search helped me see that I could overcome it and gave me the necessary support along the way to make it happen. After I graduated from Lowell High School and received a paltry financial aid package from UC Berkeley, I did not believe that I could afford Berkeley at all until, my, until Joni, my Summer Search College counselor, sat me down and helped me figure out how to make it work through a combination of subsidized loans and scholarships. Three of the scholarships that I was awarded came through Summer Search referrals and encouragement. And then in college, um, not only did Aaron, my mentor, correct my drafts for a Google intern scholarship, which I subsequently won, but she also wrote insightful recommendations for me. I'm now very fortunate to work at Google as a legal assistant for the patent team, where we do really fun things such as play kickball and eat gourmet meals, but <laughs> where we are also expected to produce excellent work. And what's interesting is that the talent that I see daily at Google, I also see in the students here tonight and in, throughout the program. And finally, one last thing that I would love to share with you all is my proudest moment in summer search, when I had to run three miles to demonstrate that I was prepared for my first summer trip in Maine. Since I have asthma, I literally thought that it would be impossible. Plus, I never ran, so I tried desperately to get out of it. Nevertheless, I ended up finishing it, although people did tell me later that I looked like I was dying. <laughs> Um, still, I never imagined where it would take me. I literally did make the impossible possible because this past month, I ran my fourth half marathon, the Nike Women's Half Marathon, and got a Tiffany's necklace. Thank you. I'm extremely grateful for all the support that I have received, and I'm truly honored to be here tonight. Thank you, Summer Search, and thank you all for listening to where, when, and how my change began. Now it is my pleasure to introduce our new CEO, 
Amy Saxton, who will introduce our keynote speaker for tonight. 